In this video, we will show you how to replace your EVAP canister vent solenoid valve on this GMC Acadia. This will be located under your vehicle, essentially directly below your driver's seat. Let's get into it. Okay friend, let's get started on our job. Safely make your way underneath the driver's side of the vehicle. You're going to find the vapor canister. Right along the very front of it here is where the vapor canister purge solenoid valve is located. To start removing this, we're going to make our way to the wire connector. It has a red locking tab. We'll remove this, just slide it right out of place. You can feel it slide back. Once you slid that back, we'll continue on to pressing on this black tab that you can see located just inside that area. Disconnect the electrical connector, a quick inspection, and we'll set that aside. Now we can take hold of that valve. We're going to turn this clockwise. You're going to feel it want to stop, and then you should be able to pull it straight out and away towards the center of the vehicle. There it is, friend. With that out of place, the next thing you need to do is clean and inspect the mounting area. We want to take a peek inside there, make sure there's no miscellaneous debris, and also confirm making its way around, we remove any of that existing debris as well. I'm just going to use a clean rag for this. We'll give it a quick wipe. Wipe along the outside as well, as I mentioned. A close inspection. Now we can install our brand new EVAP canister vent solenoid valve. To install this, we're going to have the electrical connector facing straight down. We'll slide it into place. Go ahead and start pressing that in. Once you have that pressed in, we're going to continue turning this counterclockwise until it's in its fully locked position. You may have to press this fairly hard. If you feel as though when you're turning it counterclockwise, it wants to continue spinning, that means that you did not push it in far enough. It's not going to be locked in. Essentially, it'll pull right on out of there. You want to try again. Bring it all the way straight down, push it in as far as you can, and then continue twisting until it's properly locked. As you can see, this does not go any further. It's locked in. Continue on to the electrical connector. We'll take this, press it in, listen for a click. I heard a light click there. We'll lock it in with the red locking tab. Double check, make sure everything's properly secured. Okay friend, we finished our installation. At this point, make your way out from under the vehicle. Start up your vehicle, let it run for a short while. Make sure you have no check engine light, no running condition, and take your vehicle for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.